Hello everyone, we will continue our case study for sales order report and in the previous video, yes, we did the message handling part. Now we will go for same to same thing. Now we will use the class method. Process will be same to same because usual ABAP class is just like a function module of core ABAP. So you will find it very, very similar. Suppose I'm com uncommenting this part. Whenever we will give the input, the input will go into this particular method. Suppose I am giving a wrong input. Whenever I will give a wrong input, this query, yes, will give the unsuccessful result. And in the else part, I will raise the exception. So how we can give the exception? Just go for the class method. I will go to class method. What is the name of the method? get sales order we have a exception tab here it is just like a function module in the function module also we have the exception tab here we can give exceptions for specific to one method so i will simply go to exception now i will give the exception name wrong underscore in I will give the short description, wrong input. I will simply, simply raise the exception. I'll go to source code tab and we will raise the exception. You can see there is no difference at all. We are going for same to same thing. Raise, I will give the name of the exception. I'll check the syntax and activate it. Now we raise the exception. So we need to handle also. Otherwise program will give the runtime error. So how we will handle? It is totally your wish. If you are comfortable in manually writing, you can simply, simply write the exception. But the best way is Always, always call through pattern. The chances of errors will be very less. So I will call through pattern. Now this is class method. So I will go to a map object patterns. What is the name of object? Hello underscore object. This is our class. And this is our method. And you can see exceptions came automatically. Same to same, wrong input has the exception number one, others has the exception two. I will paste here, whatever is required. Now, this is our LT underscore final. And I will now remove this part. If we will give the wrong input, size sub RC will be other than zero. And we will go for same to same message. There's no need to create message class again. Yes, sir. We are using ultimately same to same message class. I'll check the syntax and so we did the message handling part by both the ways as our logic is in the function module or class method. So we simply raise the exception in the function module and in the class method and in the program, we handled that particular part. Now we will go for test. And during the testing, one important part will also be covered. 
So we can do the testing by any way. So as of now, I'm commenting the class method. We are doing the testing through function bond tool. Anyways, both have same to same behavior. I will put a break point because based upon that only we will come on to the conclusion. I'm running. I'm giving a wrong input. Okay, I'm executing. I'll go to desktop. I'm on 30th number line. Now I will go inside the function module so that I can show you that how the exception is raising. Whatever the input you gave, this is the input we gave. It is going to which parameter of the function module SER tag. Here it is exporting. It means in the function module, it will be importing. I'm doing F5. You can see. I'm inside the function module. Now I'm executing this query. I'm doing F6. Have you seen psi sub RC0? It means unsuccessful. This query has not given any result. And you can see in the internal table, we have how many records? Zero record. It means control will go to which part? Else part. It will simply, simply raise the exception. Now you can see exception raised. And what is the value of size sub RC? One. Is size sub RC other than zero? Yes. So this if condition, true. For the best understanding, I will put a break point here also. This break point is after this message statement. I'm doing F6. Have you seen message raised? Customer is happy that message is coming. We gave which type of message? Information message. We have not given error message. We gave information message. Now I'm going for OK. Have you seen information message raised, but after that control came on to the next line of code. Now I'm on 44 number line. Program did not stop there because it is a information message. If error message is there, no problem. Program stopped there itself. But in case of information message, Program did not stop there. So our logic is still executing. Now, if I will do execute, customer will say, I'm getting message also. I'm getting a blank ALV also. Why, why I'm getting a blank ALV if there is no data present? Because we gave information message. Once we gave information message, after that, what happened? The program did not stop. This logic still continued. Yes, our internal table is blank. That's why we are getting zero records in the ALV. But yes, why, why this particular blank ALV is coming? Now we need to write the logic to restrict that part. If you see the requirement also, it is clearly mentioned. Once you click OK on the information message, control should be on the selection screen. As of now, control is not on the selection screen. If I will run, control is not on the selection screen. Control is on the output screen. Blank ALV is there. Now, how we will handle that particular part? It's very, very easy. Very easy. You can see if psi sub RC not equal to zero, we are giving this message. If psi sub RC is zero, 
we need to display the ALB. So can we cut this logic and put into the else part? Yes, this is the simple, simple thing. So I will simply cut the logic and I will put into the else part. Else means what? You are giving the right input. I'll check the syntax and activate. If you are giving the right input, if we are giving the right input, LT underscore final, yes, size sub RC will be zero. It will go to else part and the result will be there. If we are giving a wrong input, size sub RC will be other than zero. This message will be raised. This ALV logic will not execute now. Now, if I will run and show you, I'll just activate. Now, if I will show you, I'm running. I'm giving wrong input. Whenever I will give wrong input, message raised. We are on selection screen or input screen. Now I am giving right in. If I will give right input, you can see we got the output in the form of ALB. So this is important part because in case of information message, program will not stop automatically. We need to handle that particular part. Same thing you can do through class method also same to same thing if you are going for class method the same thing you need to do through class also so what is the summary of the video in this particular video we simply simply understood the part in the debugging mode yes we are getting the expected output information message is coming but the still we are getting a blank ALB because program did not stop there whenever you are giving information message you have to manually write a code to handle that part so we simply put the ALB field catalog logic and display logic part in the else part so if we are giving wrong input, this message will appear. If we are giving right input, that we will get a output in the form of ALP. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.